Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my June favorites. I have some pretty fun stuff to show you guys. These were all the products that I was totally loving in the month of June. I have a little bit of skincare and then the rest of it is obviously makeup. So yeah, if you guys want to see what my June favorite products were, then just keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, I do have some skincare products that I wanted to mention and I just want to get them out of the way. These are the two products that I have been loving the month of June. These both are from the brand Skin Diva. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Now, I have used hyaluronic acid before in my skincare and unfortunately the products that I tried just it wasn't good. So I immediately went ahead and purchased this product. Again, this is 100% hyaluronic acid. My skin feels really plump and it feels very moisturized. And then the other product that I actually um, got was the 20% vitamin C plus E. This contains ferulic acid and this is a super antioxidant um, serum that neutralizes free radicals. Now, they actually sent this to me because they noticed that I was a beauty blogger so they just sent this to me for free. I'm not being paid to talk about it or nothing like that. It's just I bought this this one with my own money and then they were kind enough to send me this one. So vitamin C is amazing for your skin. If you guys want to look it up, I'm not going to go in and ramble about it because I can literally sit here for hours and talk to you about vitamin C and how good it is for your skin. But yeah, I don't know if they offer any coupon codes. I will try and contact them and see if they are willing to offer me anything, but they're very affordable. I think I paid like 12 bucks for the hyaluronic acid, so yeah. So like I said, because I felt that my skin has been lacking moisture, even though I am oily skin, I went back to this. Um, I did actually a giveaway a few months ago and I talked about this product. This is the Qualorex. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, but I think it's Qual Qualorex, Qualorex Beauty. And this is an intensive anti-aging face serum and foundation primer oil. What I like to do is I like to apply foundation onto my beauty blender and then I'll literally just put a dot, a dot, because this can be a little bit too oily. And then I'll just obviously apply my foundation the way it goes. And my skin just looks so soft. It feels very moisturized. And the best thing is that I do not feel oily throughout the day. Now, in case that I do ever feel oily, another product that I've been really liking is the Ofra Cosmetics Press Powder Oil Control. We did receive this in our BoxyCharm this last month, and I've been using it a lot. I've been using it with this brush. This is by the brand 6 Plus, which is off of eBay. I got this set maybe two years ago and it's one of my favorites but it's just a small tapered little brush and all I do is I just literally dab it on and you can see some products I'll just take off whatever is left and then I will just press it right here where I usually get oily I don't get as oily here anymore I don't know why I think it's because again my skin is lacking moisture but I still get oily around here so I'll just press it whenever I feel oily it doesn't make me look cakey or anything like that so I've been really liking this surprisingly I only have two lip products to talk about this month the first one that I wanted to mention is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Austin I've seen this color so many times around YouTube and Instagram so I placed an order and I got this liquid with lipstick along with another thing that I'm going to mention about Anastasia. This was my first time using the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and they are just amazing. I think the formula is absolutely perfect. It's very velvety and it's moussey. It's rich. It's very pigmented. What I like about this lipstick is that whenever I have that thing, you know when you get the butthole lips, like right here. I've noticed that even if I do a second layer, this does not crumble on my lips or it doesn't get all weird and nasty. So I think this is probably one of the best formulas that I have found in liquid lipsticks so far. The other liquid lipstick that I've really been digging and when I first got it in the mail, I was like, oof, I don't know if this is going to look good on me, especially because I'm, um, you know, a little tan latina so this is mannequin by jeffree star i believe this is his newest addition to his liquid lipstick thing and it is really pretty now it can be a little bit intimidating like i said because it's such a light color it's a very 
light nude pink almost but it's still a little bit on the nude-ish side so it is that one which one is it is that one right there very very pretty so like i said because i did place an order to anastasia i did pick up the new modern renaissance renaissance palettes. Everybody's been raving about this palette and all the reasons why this palette is gorgeous. Um, I think it's one of the best palettes that she's come out with as far as color combination. This is the palette that I have on my eyes today. I used Bon Fresco. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And then I have Red Ochre and Cypress Umber, which is this one right here. Um, I do have a tutorial coming up using this palette, a look that I did a few weeks ago, and I absolutely love it. So, yeah, I really like it. If you guys haven't gotten your hands on it, I really recommend it. Talking about face products, I wanted to mention this really quickly. This is the Sigma in the Saddle Aura, Aura powder. This is actually supposed to be some sort of blush, but for me, it is perfect for bronzer. That is the color right there. It's very pretty. This is the one that I'm wearing today. On top of my MAC powder, because you guys know that that's my babe. So I've been using this a lot lately, and I really like it. I just want to get this out of the way. I wanted to mention this um, eyeliner. This is the Rocker Chic Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Eyeliner by JCAD. And it's just, you know, your basic white eyeliner. Now, some people don't like the white eyeliner because it looks a little too fake. And I agree, it can look a little fake, but I just really like how it looks. These are very creamy, very very pigmented and because they are waterproof I don't feel like they transfer too much from my lids or from my waterline they really stay intact all day if you guys can tell it's the one that I'm wearing right now and it's just I like it I don't know why I've been really digging the white eyeliner yet and obviously I wanted to mention this one now I know that I did a review and I told you guys that I didn't think it was that great and you know, I didn't feel like you guys had to go crazy over it. And I still feel that way. I still feel like this foundation was a little bit hyped just because it's new and everybody wants a glowy foundation. I, I just didn't see the glow factor in the foundation for me. It is the one that I'm wearing right now. Now, I do like it and I've been wearing it on and off. I just still don't like the color. I know that some of you have told me. That's your foundation color. You always go lighter. I don't know why. And trust me, girl, I can see myself in the mirror and I can tell when a foundation is a little bit off. The undertone is not right for me. So that's why I think I look so tan right now because this foundation makes me look tan. And I have noticed that in some of my pictures, it makes me look a little bit orange. So if I ever do look a little bit Oompa Loompa-ish, it's because of this. And then the last product that I wanted to mention is this. <gasps> you guys, this is the most gorgeous palette I own. These are the new Luxie Beauty Highlighters. Um, so these are the ones that she recently came out with. And I know that I think these two are supposed to be closed dupes for the Pat McGrath highlighters that are like hella expensive which i ain't trying to spend that much money this is a really pretty color i just don't think it suits my skin tone because it's estoy morenita now the other one is called stiletto and this one is a straight up gold like a gold gold i haven't used this one either because it is a little intimidating it's gold but at the same time it looks a little bit yellow so it's a horrible swatch my favorite ones though are these these two and then this one. This one has peach undertones, this one's creme de la creme. And this one is probably my absolute favorite. Even though when you see it in the pan, you don't think this would make a good highlight, but it is so pretty. It's called Flossy and it's the one that I'm wearing on my cheekbones today on you know the center of my nose my chin and then obviously into the center of my forehead okay girls so that is it those were all the products that i was loving for the month of june thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and i'll see you guys on monday bye, bye. what are you doing <laughs>